All of our lives, we've been brought up to think about the opposites. There's good, there's bad, there's love, there's hate, there's light, there's darkness. All those things we have been taught and we gravitate towards them. And one thing we've been taught on that scale that's not doing us any favors, something that I want to change in all of us is two and four. And what do I mean by that? We've been brought up in our lives to think that something's either happening to us or something is happening for us. And think about this. The things that happen for us are, quote unquote, the good things. The, the things like, you know, giving birth to a child, getting married, getting a job, getting, you know, anything that's nice, a, a nice material thing. Being loved, you know, all these things are happening for us. And then the op on the opposite side, we've been taught things are happening to us that are bad. You know, we got let go from our job. You know, one of our close friends or relatives passed away. You know, we, we lost an arm. Uh, you know, it had to be amputated because of, of, of a sickness. That all happened to us. Those things are bad. On that s s realm of good and bad, those things hurt. Those things don't feel good. And then we watch the news. And the news, for the majority of the 30 minutes, let's say 80% of it, talks about the things that are happening to us. You know, people are getting robbed. People are getting killed. People are committing fraud. All the things that are happening to us. And just a little bit about the things that are happening for us, about, you know, the wealth that's being distributed to this person or the knowledge this person just got, this person just graduated, you know, with a PhD, you know, the, the, the good things that are happening for us. I spend a lot of time over here on the two because the two feels bad. And we seem to gravitate toward, towards what feels bad. And the things that are for us, because we don't gravitate to them as much, we begin to take them for granted. And when you take things for granted, you don't think about them as often. What do you think about the things that are happening to you? Now, let me land this plane. We've been taught all of these opposites, and each opposite is sitting on the same level, on the same plane, they're just opposite. So darkness is the absence of light. Light is the absence of darkness. Good is the absence of evil. Evil is the absence of good. What I'm going to tell you right now is nothing in this life is happening to you. Or better said, you shouldn't think that anything in this life is happening to you. Because there is no absence of happening for you in that. Everything in this life is happening for you. Now, does that make sense to you? Maybe it doesn't. Let me hone in a little bit more. Remember I said that when things happen to you, it makes you feel bad. And if you remember the formula your thinking creates your feelings. Your feelings attached to your actions. And your actions get you the results you get out of life. So when things happen to you, you feel bad. You feel depressed. You want to know why it's not good. You then take those feelings and attach them to the actions that you take. And you don't get good results. Because something happened to you. Now, if everything in your life is happening for you, how do you think that makes you feel? It makes you feel good. It makes you feel empowered. It makes you at a minimum feel at peace because even though it may seem like such a bad thing, it happened for you, so you're at peace with it. And you take those same feelings and you attach them to the actions that you take. You get different results. So I get it. It's hard to say if my arm gets amputated tomorrow because of a disease that that happened for me. It's hard for me to see that. But if that is my mentality, I will find it. Because maybe while I'm at the doctor's office, in the war with all the people that have amputated arms and limbs, maybe they all need someone. They need someone to lift them up. And maybe that's my role. And I gravitate towards that. And I help others because of what happened to me. And you hear what I just said? Because of what happened to me. It's all here in the subconscious. It's really because of what happened for me. Everything in this life, you have to decide is happening for you. And the, you know, the other reason is when things are happening to you, 
You don't want those things to happen to you, do you? You want it to stop. I don't want these things to happen to you, so what do you do? You build up walls. And eventually you build a whole box around yourself because you don't want things to happen to you. And when you build those walls and you build that box, you put yourself inside of something that you can't get out of. You don't grow because you put up walls and create a box around you because you don't want things to happen to you. But when you say everything is happening for me, the walls come down. There is no box. I find out why this is for me. And guess what I do? I grow. I become bigger. I become bigger than I could have ever have been inside of a box. This is all right here in your mind. It's all the way that you look at life, the way that you think about life, the size of life that you have. So from this point forward, nothing in this life is happening to you. Everything in this life is happening for you. And your job, your job, and it may be a hard one, but you know how smart you are? You know how strong you are? You know how incredible you are? You can find it. Everything that's happening for you, find out why. Find out why is this for me? Accept that it's for me. No matter how bad it may seem, no matter how sad it may seem, no matter how much it hurts, there is something inside of that that's happening for you because all of life is happening for you and not to you. And when you do that, you will grow. And as you grow, you get better. You get better today. That's what life is all about. But you'll never get there. You'll never understand it as long as you still believe life is happening to you. Never again. Your life and everything that happens in your life is happening for you. Take control, take command, be everything that you can be. Don't hold yourself back. Be the greatest person that you can be because the greatest is inside of you. Strews reminders. Have a great day.